two purple minerals, but what in the Sam hell are they? One is amethyst and one is fluorite, but which one is which? And how can I tell? Amethyst is the purple variety of quartz, whose chemical formula is SiO2, or silicon oxide. Fluorite's chemical formula is CaF2, or calcium fluoride, so these two minerals are clearly chemically different things. But they can look kinda alike when they're the same color. These beautiful palm-sized specimens are both from Lux Rocks. So is this one. A crystal subscription box that sends curated minerals to your door every month. These two specimens I just purchased directly off the website because that's also an option. You don't have to have a subscription to get yummy gems. The first thing you're probably gonna do if you mix up your purple fluorite and amethyst is pull out a black light. Fluorite almost always fluoresces under a black light. So as you can see, this one is clearly fluorite because it is fluorescing and the other mineral, which we now know is the amethyst, does not. So this is amethyst, this is amethyst, this is fluorite. They are different. If that advice helped you, please like the video. But don't leave just yet. What if you don't have a black light? What if you have two purple gemstones, but you don't even know that they're supposed to be fluorite and amethyst in the first place? What if you're having to identify these minerals with no prior knowledge? Quartz is one of the few minerals where I can comfortably say you can rely on appearance for identification. Most minerals look like other minerals. Since this amethyst specimen is an example of macrocrystalline quartz, meaning large crystal, we can literally just see the crystal habit. I can see them. Well crystallized, quartz crystals are usually six-sided and come to a point. Amethyst crystals, such as these two, are often in agate. Agate is another type of quartz that we classify as cryptocrystalline or microcrystalline because the crystals are teeny, teeny, tiny, and they make up dense, compact aggregates, such as this one. Please take a second to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Quartz is often identified in the field by its appearance and its hardness. It easily scratches glass, but won't be scratched by steel. Glass-like luster. Quartz and glass are actually really similar. Glass is not crystalline, it is amorphous, meaning it has no crystal structure, but quartz and glass can be sharp and can cut a person when fractured. And the sand used to make glass is actually usually made up of tiny quartz crystals that were basically melted together. Quartz is often identified also by its conchoidal fracture. This is actually one of the methods we use in distinguishing quartz from jade as well if the piece is already broken. We're obviously not gonna break a piece of jewelry to find out what it is. There are better ways. Conchoidal refers to a smooth, curved fracture that resembles the inside of a seashell. So looking at these two specimens, they're definitely amethyst, the purple variety of quartz. Identifying fluorite is a similar process. We already know it fluoresces, which is a huge indicator. So now let's observe the crystal habit. Fluorite is a part of the isometric or cubic crystal system. Much like diamond or spinel, it forms in little cubes. And you might be like, wait, Jordan, that's not a cube. It is. This is what we call twinning, where basically two separate crystals grow in the same place. If you'd like to learn more about mineral specimens, be sure to visit luxrocks.com. And if you're interested in buying any of the golden smoke jewelry that I'm wearing, you can click the golden smoke link in my video description. What crystal do you want to learn about next? 